Welcome to Canic. Today here in Canic, we have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. And on the Chevy Cruze, I am going to show you how to replace your rear ABS wheel speed sensor. This one here is a little unique, and if you have the disc brake model, you might not have an issue. But if you have the model that has drum brakes on it, the where the ABS wheel speed sensor is mounted, you will not be able to get it out without removing some components and sliding the little caliper cylinder in, not inward to be able to get that out. Or removing the, um, the, the line that goes into the caliper, but then you would have to be leading the brakes if you, if you do that. So to start with, we have uh, raised our vehicle, uh, supported it on jack stands, and removed the tire. And now we get to this stage, and you'll need to remove this, um, your drum, so you may need to tap it a few times with the hammer to be able to get those brakes to uh, retract. Also, you won't have your parking brake set so that this will be So with that removed, we now have these. But this is the little um, the brake caliper unit that we need to slide in a little bit. We should be able to leave all of this stuff on, but just kind of pull this stuff um, towards us a little bit. After we remove two 10 millimeter bolts on the back and then um, the bolt that holds the bracket here. So to start with, we're going to follow this line up, and up inside here is where the electrical connector is going to be. So we follow the line up. We have one um, push clip to unhook right here. Okay. And so with that push clip removed, we can now pull this back a little bit and see that our electrical connection is right here. So we're gonna just pull this, squeeze the clamp, to unclip it, and then we need to get that. All right, so we were able to unclick this from up there and start working our way down and following all these um, clips and clamps undo it and so this portion is free so this is where it's going to be a little bit more difficult we have a, a bolt here which was a um an e-torque bolt that you needed to undo and that was an e8 or e10 right and that holds the bracket here for this um brake line you know so we remove that and then there is two 10 millimeter bolts here that you remove. And with those removed, now you may need to tap this in with a, a punch or a little bit of a hammer uh, right here on the side and we can move that in because we won't be able to get this um, ABS wheel speed sensor out without moving this in. All right, and so those bolts removed and then be able to just get on here and give it a nice little tap to move it out. We're just sliding it in, in enough to be able to gain access to the T30 here and then be able to pull this ABS wheel speed sensor out. This is the caliper unit that we were able to slide in a little bit and then we just wanna make sure that we maybe pull these brakes in a little bit too that we don't mess up the boots on this cylinder here. So now we need our, our T30 on the back side to be able to loosen and remove. All right, we got that removed. We've got this sitting in here, and this is the way we can do it without having to undo all of this and then needing to re-bleed the, um, the brakes for any reason. So back here on this back side, then we can be able to uh, move this and pull up. And then still may need to move that a little bit to be able to release and get our ABS wheel speed sensor out. And so that's the uh, ABS wheel speed sensor that has been removed. And then when we go back to put a new one in, you know, if there was a bunch of uh, the debris or if it was really hard, we'd maybe clean up this hole a little bit so that when we put the new one in, it's not too hard to do. So now that we've removed it, we can go through the process to be able to replace with the new one. So we got to just line it up there, maybe move this a little bit. 
and be able to insert that in there. Install our T30 Torx bolt and tighten that down. Just snug, we're good there. And then when we're done with all that, we'll want to uh, depress our caliper a little bit and then be able to situate it back through the hole so that everything is lined up where it needs to go. And then we can set this up, this bracket back up here and be able to tighten the um, e-torx bolt that holds that bracket. So you've got your e-torx in there. We've got our two 10 millimeters that go into the, um, the little caliper unit over here. All right. So now we can go back um, we'll finish and tighten those up later, but we just need to work our little grommet back into this bracket here to reinstall that and then be able to follow the brake line here and installing the clips there, pull this back a little bit. We have the retaining clip. And then with pulling this back, we have this little tab. Let's slide that down on there, lock it into place. Make that electric connection. Be able to put your little push pin in here. And then don't forget to tighten all your, uh, your bolts on the back here that hold this on and your um, bracket there. And then be able to also put your uh, uh, drum back on, put your tire on. And that would be how you'd replace your rear ABS wheel speed sensor on a 2014 Chevy Cruze with the drum brakes. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.